Hey, what's going on, buddy? You can find four here. And the final, the home stretch, the final three tag duel are here. Tag 9, 10, and 11. So we're done with the tag duels for later. So we have a couple more tag duels left after this with some more other random uh, replays. But pretty much it's going to be a slow week for... Actually, I'm not really going to be doing much in Dev Pro this week because, well, Banless is coming up on Friday. And I'm not really much of a mood for duelings because of that angel. It's just what it's going to be like seeing what Konami would do either if it's a good or a bad thing. And I just can't wait to see what they have. So, let's go right into the Dungeon for Tag Duel and finish these up, shall we? So, if you haven't heard uh, what's been going on down on YouTube the past couple of days, which is YouTube decided to go ahead and change the copyright claiming uh, terms of service type of thing, where it's basically, if you upload a video that has any type of copyright material in it, such as me and amusing stuff, I'll give credit to the user, or to the creator, and your video or something like that, you could get hit with a copyright claim. Which that basically mean strike on your channel, and seeing sorts of little many things, once you get three strikes, or out, just how it goes. Pretty much baseball turns for YouTube. It's there in a way to prevent YouTube from being sued. Which is, you know, it's good they have these things implemented, because... No, there's really no point in you putting up stuff you don't really use. It's yours without giving that, that person any type of credit. But they decided to change some things. And the reason for this is, well, they're trying to cover their asses. As in, they want to prevent anybody from suing. So, last night, last night they went, they had their new, their new little... Arithmetic type of system, and they went through all the YouTube channels, every single YouTube channel on there, and basically, if anything matched a company, if anything matched a certain company, you that you were gonna get a copyright claim. Now you could dispute it if you so wish to. Um, if you chose to dispute it, and what happened? You just like, hey, I think I'm in the right here. If you if you try to dispute that the first time around, because you have two attempts at that. If you try to do it the first time. Nothing bad will happen to you. It is like, oh, you know, I think I'm in the right, and I could be in the wrong, but I think I'm in the right, so I'm going to try and dispute it. But if you try it a second time, and you see turns you down, you're going to be in some shit trouble, because now you have a strike on your channel, which is something you never really want to do. So, for fair warning, for anybody who does, like, anything, Yu-Gi-Oh! related, music, YouTube, but Let's Plays, which kind of sucks, because I'm stuck to playing Let's Players. I love Let's Plays. They're so much fun to watch. And... It's just, I have a lot of time myself, uh, which I haven't done much on it right now because of the fact that I just didn't, I had, like, computers kind of going down proper, so <laughs> this is about as much as I can actually do in terms of recording. And, oh yeah, right here, um, you might think this is a dumb move on my part, but I was proving a point to Ryu, he kept trying to tell me that, yeah, 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 the cards go back in my deck, my cards back in mine, your cards back in yours, I was proving a point, which is why I sent all the Lane monsters back to my deck with Arc Michael's effect, because of, like, I was proving a point to him, that's the only reason why I did that. And I believe point proven was exactly what it was, look at these Lane Swords. Look at him, Minerva, it's still going, it's still going, Raiden's going back, and like, it, it's pretty crazy, so, yeah, so, fair warning, anybody, anybody, you know, you have to be very careful with this, make sure that you check, if you if you upload videos, you know, doesn't matter what you do, um, check your videos, make sure you get no copyright material on it, because there's odds where you get a strike, and there's no, there's no guarantee you get a strike because you can dispute and stuff like that, but, you don't want the headache. The headache, you do not want that headache of YouTube being stupid. And before anybody really complains, it's, the company's not, it's also not the company doing this. It is YouTube. They're not coming out to you and going to YouTube saying, Hey, yeah, this thing has got this stuff, this and that and this compared to with us. So we, don't, no, we don't want it. It's not the company. It's YouTube. So you have no fear. You know, if you, Konami, odds are, is not going to come after us, you YouTubers, because it's free publicity. It's free advertising for the game. We promote the card game, for, in a sense, for free. Um, unless, you know, you're monetized, you do get money from stuff like that, but, unless you're a partner, stuff like that. But, you do, it, you do, the Konami doesn't physically pay the YouTubers of the, of the, inter and the internet to promote their stuff. So, 
It's free this game, so I highly doubt they're having any problems. The same thing with Let's Players. Um, like, if you do Nintendo stuff and stuff like that, if Let's Play games, I highly doubt that they're gonna have a problem with it. Because of the fact that, again, it's free advertisement for them. For any gaming company, you know, Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, Monolith Soft, uh... EA, Activision, stuff like that. It's like, it's just free advertising for them, so I don't think they have a problem. But just, just keep an eye on your channels. Um, and if you have any copyright materials on it, you might have to take things down, but you can always dispute. Just dispute it the first time if you know you're on the right dispute it because this right here, fair use law, gaming, fair use law. All this stuff under fair use. So they can't do anything about it. It's under the law of fair use. So I'm sorry, but you just have to be very, very careful with what you do now on YouTube. And it's really, really stupid that it is like this. But what can you do? It's, it's YouTube. It's Google. It's really Google. Google just screws up everything that they do. Like, they really have no idea how to run uh, YouTube properly, which is kind of sad, actually. So it's just a heads up for people. Uh, who do upload stuff, who are partners, because not just partners affected by this, you know, you don't have to be part of a YouTube or Machinima or IGN or Games and stuff like that, you don't have to be part of into that, like, just random, just anybody, everybody's at risk here, so you have to be careful what you do, and just make sure you have no music playing in your videos, no TV playing in the background, nothing that you can just go like, hey, copyright, done. You know, just make sure you have nothing. Be very, very careful. Because I went back and through my videos, and I had to delete some that had uh, some copyrighted materials in it. And uh, it was when I was using the uh, Okami background. Uh, in my background, there's, like, nobody would care. I had Okami music playing through some of the some some of the replays, so I had to take those down, which kind of sucked. But some of them I didn't really care about them because of the fact that, you know, balance coming up soon and it's like it was just some duels really that, you know, I'm just going to update and redo again with the new balance. So it wasn't a complete waste. It wasn't a complete sad thing. But a lot of people had to delete videos. I know like Vexicus had to delete some videos. Uh, I think he said he had to do like 20, 25, I think, of his videos. It kind of sucked. I didn't, I didn't delete that much, but it kind of sucks when you're forced to delete uh, videos that you worked hard on to bring pleasure to people, and it's just never really fun, it's kind of crappy, but, again, what I can do is YouTube, so, anyway, not on the YouTube stuff, the ban is coming up fast, this Friday, if you don't remember, my question to you all is, what do you want to see on the ban list, what do you think will get banned, limited, semi-limited, or unlimited? Or in the case of Pojo, where they said the Super Unlimited section, which I thought was pretty hilarious. <laughs> but what would you like to see, you know, come off the list, and go on being banned, or limited, and stuff like that, you know, what what, or what do y'all want to see on that? Because I, I have ideas of myself, I'm not doing a prediction this time, I'm not really doing it this format, because it's just too close to the balance, and I don't really want to have one, I don't have anything really planned out. So, I'm going to skip this time, skip this format, and not do a bad prediction, but I'm going to try to do one for the next one that pops up. So, anyway, uh, I do I do have some things I would like to see happen on the list. Like, one of them is I would love for Heavy Storm to make his triumphant comeback. Because I don't like set 5 formats. I hate non-heavy formats with a bloody passion. I don't like them at all. They're not fun, they're not really interesting, it's just boring, guessing games, just might as well say eeny meeny money, eeny meeny money, no, and just hope you can and pray to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Gods to a Tom the Pharaoh, and hopes that you <laughs> can tell what a monster is. It's really bullshit, and it's not, it doesn't really promote the fun play of the game, which is what it should be. It should be fun, and you know, Heavy Storm does promote fun, at least for me it does. But, you know, I know there are people who don't like Heavy Storm, and it's understandable, you know, I know that Heavy Storm can be kind of a bitch at times, and it's not annoying at times, but it's just one of these cards you kind of have to have in the game to kind of make the game feel easier. But with Heavy Storm, if Heavy Storm comes back, I do want them to bring back some of the traps, like Bottomless to 2, Torrential to 2, possibly Deep Prison to 3, because really what was the point of hitting Deep Prison to 2? Really wasn't any point, because most people play only 2 to begin with, so thank you. No point! I'm sorry, Konami. That was a dumb move when you're a part. Things like Soldier to come back to two. Um, also, I would love to see Ocean Skid hit Smoke 
Ophion being his, like, a biased opinion, really, if you're wondering why it's biased. Like, I don't like Ophion. I think it's a really unfair card, and people always say that if you hit Ophion, you know, they're dead. Not really. You can recycle it with things like Digust and Morel. You can easily recycle it, and plus you have things like Bahumon. You can, Evil Swarms can easily go, keep it all, uh, safe zone lock. So, Evil Swarms still have a lot of ways they can do without the Ophion. But just one Ophion. So, to me, it's not really a big deal if Ophion got, you know, if I was an Evil player, I really wouldn't care. Yeah, it would suck, but I wouldn't care nonetheless because it's a rank 4 exceed deck. Uh, I'm not saying Rabbit should be banned. Um, or anything like that. Rabbit does help the deck. It has to be, so I think Rabbit to 1 uh, at 1 is still fine for the, uh, for Evil. But if Rabbit did get it to, uh, to 0, I would, no offense, I would laugh my ass off. Uh, <laughs> not really hating on the deck for Rabbit, I'm just, I would laugh my ass off if it actually happened. But, a lot of things do need to happen. Like, some Judge, in my opinion, should come back, and of course, they do need to put Ticking at least at two. Uh, I love see Ticking the three because I love the card of death, but uh, I think Ticking the two would be good because it is needed to help stop surfing since E Call is at three. You also have Rhoda at one, which could go to two or three. You know, they want to promote the Noble Knights and stuff like that, so. And I don't know why he lands this, considering that it's now unaffected by this. It's down to 500 attack. That was kind of stupid. In my opinion, I would have just hit the Lila. You know, just playing the Lila. But, oh well, what can you do? People are not really reading for some reason. But, this is a lot of things that need to be done. And I know, I didn't say Dragon Lord's the one, because I think it's kind of a given that we also say Dragon Lord's the one. But I'm trying to, you know, think, you know, not the off the auto. But, anyway... Uh, what do you, again, like, what do you guys want to see on the list? I'm curious to see what you have to, have to say. We can do sort of like a mini prediction in the comment section. Have like a little, like, bandless discussion in the comment section. I think it'd be kind of cool. Uh, not having a prediction, but an actual just a little bit of a discussion. Just talking about, like, like, uh, like, what, 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 what do we want to see? What should happen on said list? Yeah, need a strip. Uh, it's cold in my room right now. <laughs> it's kind of chilly. <laughs> uh, so the problem is like you know, some of the ex uh, beetle things was called, and gets rid of the uh, my beetle so that was kind of sad. Like no, my beetle I wanted it. You got to destroy my beetle lab. I was so sad. I was, I was a I was a sad pet. <sighs> it's not beyond, but. So I got next on the Exabeetle just so I don't take the 2250. It's actually pretty close. I'm gonna take 1700. I'd rather take 1700 than the 2250. That's just me, me personally, you know. And he gets in the middle three with the Lila and look at that, look at that great, look at that great. So yeah. So I don't know much to talk about. It's just one of these weeks that I just don't know really what to talk about. I talked about the YouTube stuff, I talked about the band. I don't really know what to talk about except for the duels. It's just like, I don't know. But I will be doing a video on the ban list uh, when that comes out, talking about what I think should happen, what's, you know, what I may agree on, like, oh, this is a good idea, or this is a bad idea, this shouldn't happen, stuff I may agree on, may not agree on, um, but they are, there are things I will go over, in my opinion, like, I will go over some things. I will be going over the ban. Oh, I'm sorry for the yawning. But I will be going over the band and stuff like that, so not to worry. That will be the video for Friday. Will be a band discussion and just talking about like what's gonna, what, what in my opinion should have happened, and you know, and why and stuff like that. So it's those things I will be doing for the band list. So don't worry, that will will be up. So the duel is coming to close actually because Arc Michael plus Armad Diaz. That's some crazy stuff. That's some crazy put on there, man. So I don't know what the opponent, what the Nomadic player goes for. He summons the Gamma. I think he goes for a Paladamio. I think is what he goes for. No, he goes for the, the Sacred King. Aren't you guys King of the Noble Knights? And he's going to go ahead and read all of those things. Which, in all hindsight, I really can't wait to see what the band does because I can't wait to test Noble Knights in the new list. I don't know, but, you know, I like Nova Knights a fun deck. I think the deck is a lot of hype. You know, I don't think it's a I don't think it'll really do much. 
But, of course, you know, I won't really know until this comes out, so please, uh, don't hate me on that. I, I'm not really forming an opinion on Overnight for the next format without even the new list, so don't worry. I, 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 will, I will make opinions on Overnight and stuff like that, but only when the new list is revealed and I know exactly, uh, like, what's on it and how I feel like it will fare. So, have no fear. I'm not going to judge Noble Knights just yet. I do like the archetype. It's a fun. It is a fun deck. It really is. So, my turn, and it's time to go spam fuckery. I'm gonna have fun in this turn. So, if someone recharges this right, go draw to get the JD. Anyway, summon the JD. We're gonna go nookie 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 field. Well, we can nookie the field. And all of it's gonna go right on back, and JD can nuke. Multiple times. I'm sure I don't know why I'm yelling at him. I really don't know. But the good thing with JD, nuke multiple times, so I'm gonna pay 3k to get rid of that monster, but at the same time, I can care less because at the end, at the end of the day, I'm gonna have a JD with a massive spam fuckery of the fields. No, I used it two times. My bad. So I just ran, because I'm gonna flex better from the opponent's graveyard just because I, yeah, I could. Sun Master's just too good. Sync up for the Vulcan. Uh, use its effect to turn JD to the hand and to return the Ultra Kiss to the extra deck. Then I can actually resummon the JD since it's not an effect that activates, it's just an inherent summon just happens. So I can do that with the uh, with the JD, so it's actually really helpful. Uh, I just can't use the effect of nuking and I don't get the mill effect. So that's always nice since I have like 15 cards left in the, the, the main deck. So that does help out a lot. So if you go for the start of Spark Dragon and go in the battle phase and attack for 1800, 2500, and 3k damage. So we're really just eating it up here right now with all that damage. Look at that beautiful, beautiful damage down to 1850 life points because the Zombie Master is the boss. Vulcan too good in light ones he really is. Bounce back that JD, don't have to mill. Hell yeah, I like where that's going. So I believe they pretty much scoop here. No, he is his turn. I don't know why. Like me personally, if I knew a Druid Gores, uh with no protection from anything, I would have just scooped. You know, not really a rage quit, it was more like, yeah, we lost, can't do anything about it. Let's just go ahead and scoop. You know, no point prolonging the more than what is really needed, but Ryu wants to spam fuck some more. He's an ass. Goes for the right go. Sinks up for another Stardust Spark Dragon. He's just trying to show off here. Like, yeah, I'm going for the Felgrind. And also, I'm not playing Felgrind because I am playing um, a little bit more than Light Sworn. I'm playing Zombie Sworn, so my next deck is very cluttered as it is. So, But he had to get that Felgrind kill because he just likes to show off like that. He's just a natural show off. <laughs> oh my god. So, final Lights Horn Tag Duel right here, right now. Let's get things started. Let's get things rolling. Finish it up for the day. And then we're going to have some replay after this. I've got quite a bit of things to do, but... Anyway, playing against Glider Beast and Blue Eyes, I believe. I don't quite remember the other deck. But I do know it's Blue Eyes is something. No, it's, uh... No, it's Glads versus, like, a Rank 8 Spamish type deck. And using XYZ Avenger, which is a pretty... Ah, uh, trollish and nasty card. I do like the Avenger. It's a really cool card, but so glad it did not get destroyed by next like, Z Monster because that would be some nasty shit going on there. But I got, but uh, I believe this is my deck or just reuse. Um, this is mine, so the name just got screwed up again. Kind of sucks, but I said the right go. He said the Necrogarna. I could have summoned the Raiden, but I didn't want to risk like a Bonalus or something like that, which is right there. So I'd rather get the Raiko and just, you know, one of us use that flip effect to go ahead and destroy some back row, clear it out. So he attacks into the Necrogarna, changed the Indominal Glider Beast, which I thought was kind of uh, interesting because this card does, hasn't seen any play for a good while, actually. I think, like, a couple of people may have tried it out, like, when it first came out. Like, I know some people in my locals, and I definitely tried it out because I played Glads at one time. I tried it out because I had, you know, I, I pulled, like, two or three of them at the sneak peek for whatever set that came in. And it's like, hey, why not? So a couple of my deck. Let's see how it works. You know, I had it, so might as well. So look at all this back row. Yeah, no heavy formats are awesome, but the MSC hit the Mirror Force, which is always cool. Solar Recharge, ditch the Wolf Draw 2, Mill 2. Flip up the Ryko, use Ryko's effect, 
to hit another back row, which ended up hitting the bottomless, which is a good thing I didn't go for the raid, and, and it gets the wolf mill, which is freaking amazing, and a Minerva mill, so it gets the deck thin this deck by another card, which is pretty crazy, and ends up milling the MST, which kind of sucks, but hey, we got a wolf on field, summons the Lumina, Lumina's effect ditches the Minerva, summons the raid, and and uses Minerva's effect to mill a card deck thinning its deck by a card. Rain's effect mills two. Gets another wolf mill. Gets that wolf on field. Look at this. Bam fucker. Blind swords are second for the scrap dragon. And scrap gets fiendish chain. So that kinda suck. And beckoning light is set and walk into the mirror force, but oh well. Got a beckoning, so it doesn't really matter. Now, we're thinking of actually playing Scrap Beast. And just all of our decks now, just because of the fact that we want that scrap dragon effect to special summoning. Uh, that'd be hilarious. But, so, Forte, I think this is the one it uses, I don't remember. Uh, MST is the back in the light, which, of course, gets changed by Ryu, sending the two cards you don't really need in hand to the graveyard, and getting free monsters, such as one is Lumina and then Raiden. I don't think, I think I was the only one who had the JDs. I believe, I'm not too sure. So I get a wolf, like, I play two wolves, and I drew both, like, so I don't play Lion's Force because I have shitty luck. So I go for the JD summon, the JD effect to Nuki Nuki Field. Yes, that's a word, look it up. <laughs> no, I don't know if it's a word or not. Uh, another JD, summon the Raid and use Raid's effect to mill two. I'm trying to get that 1900 attack, but, and get it, which is actually pretty cool. So attack for 1900 and then attack for another 6,000 damage. So a total of 7,900 points of damage is dealt this turn. Then phase two, and we end phase, and we mill a lot of cards. We're going for the mill four with JD. Minerva mills another one, so that's a fifth card mill. JD number two mills four, and then Raid mills two. So that was some good stuff there. We got the good mills there. We got some really good mills. Double JD for the nuking it is really, really good. So it goes to the glider probing ground, just decks in the stack. Me cards are probably going to bestie just because well bestie is a good card. And wouldn't have some of bestie, but you know. So those are the core test the defensive tactics, trying to bluff the all powerful um war cherry, which you know usually an obvious play that the war cherry, but you know, typically no, we didn't really care. So we go for so really actually culture's effect trying to bait out the war chair because well we want to be able to JD nuke and trying to bait out with the JD nuke, but ends up being a defensive tactics, so that kind of backfired, but at the same time not really, because well we got away from Cory anyway, and uh you just to draw a card off of the card trooper gets to recharge mills to two and just stupid stuff like that. JD goes to attack for 3k, but can't because, well, takes on fire damage, but it's one of those, because why not? Happy situation in mill 4 off of JD. And look at this great, it's a 45 card graveyard. That is some nuts. That is crazy stuff right there. So, Forte gets the limit removal and has a Gagelaton Dragon, which is kind of a dirty card, but, you know, setting is really no point because I'm just going to JD nuke anyway and just get rid of that stuff. Oh, uh, but here I kind of did a little bit of a misplay. Oh. And JD Nuke, what I should have done was, um, stack, I, well, I was a JD Nuke anyway. First up, I should have stacked Wolf and Plague, and then, especially when Plague can attack, but attack for like 3400 damage, and then when I, in my turn, like, mill the Wolf, get that free Wolf to the field. So that was a misplay on my part, I'm sorry guys, I wasn't thinking things completely through, and I milled my VLS, which makes me a sad panda, I'm a very, very sad panda. And there's the War Cherry. He finally gets that damn War Cherry, man. It took him forever and it happened. There's the All Powerful Equest. Attacking, trying to attack the Plex for Wopey. We will have the Necrogar to say no to that. Ta ta for now. Oh, man. Should be tired. I don't know why I am. Oh, my God. So. Game's pretty much coming to a close, it really is. So we're gonna do a nice JD nuke. I'm trying to bait out the War Chariot. That's all we're trying to do, bait out that War Chariot. And we bait it out, we get the War Chariot out, which is excellent. You know, I'd rather, it's better, because we have plays for Raiden. We have Lumina plus Raiden, so it doesn't really matter. And we have multiple Luminas in Grave, so it doesn't really matter. So Lumina's effect, it's Aaron, special Lumina. 
Lumina number two is a fact. It's Lila, especially Lumina number three. <laughs> Lumina number three is a fact. It's Raiden, Spanish summon Raiden. <laughs> it's like just the spam. The Spanish of Lumina is nuts. Flip up the flag that I left him. Sync up for the Crimson Blader. Sync up for the Michael. And I think this would have been game if he actually paid it down so to get rid of that. So let me, I want to double check with the calculator. With the trusty calculator, I believe this would have been game if he had done paid the down. So 26 plus 28. 5400. So basically, uh, if he had just paid down to banish it, he would have been able to go for the game right then and there. And be done with the duel. But, oh well, who cares? They can't really come back because they can't special summon anything level 5 or higher, or tribute summon anything level 5 or higher because of Crimson. And anything they set, being just banished with the trusty all powerful Arc Michael. So at the same time, it doesn't really matter what they do because we just have the meat. Not to sound cocky or anything like that, but yeah. Now, Forte actually makes it a little bit of a misplay. I'm going to pause here real quick. What he should have done was, when he got Book of Moon, he should have returned to with the Adonis Beast back to his deck, had it in his hand, and then, set this, and then set both of these. So that way, me and Ryu really have no idea which one is the good card. You know, one of them is not going to be, you know, one of them is the Dominable, and the other one is possibly something that can hurt us, but we, then we won't know because now we know this is Book of Moon, and then this is Indomitable. So, he really should have done that first. But, oh well, what can you really do? I'm just getting feedback, really, so. Uh, the game is pretty much done here, so I'll go for the Arc Michael's effect, pay a thousand to banish the card that I know is the threat, which is, of course, a Book of Moon. Really, not much of a threat, considering I can just flip him back face up. And, you know, you just affect him once again, which I did anyway, because, you know, I wanted uh, I wanted to banish the Indomino, just so we didn't get that effect ever again. And for some reason, he's talking about love in the battle fear. I uh, just about to just banish that ass and attack for the game. So, anyway, that was the Tangles of Latsmon. The Latsmon. Are you le mad? Le second mad? Anyway, those were all the Latsmon Tangles. Uh, more really to come this week uh, before the balance and then a balance discussion when, on Friday when that list comes out. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the duels, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.